Welcome to the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. I am still on study leave, but I will be back tomorrow. In the meantime, here is a, a meditation by Liz Schwartz from Victoria Safford's book, With or Without Candlelight. It's entitled The Labyrinth. I walk slowly and deliberately towards the center of the labyrinth, breathing the fresh autumn breeze. Around me the red sumac is vivid against the clear blue sky. Tiny morning glories bloom at my feet, their blossoms open chalices, reflecting their paler blue back to the sky. The stones marking the circular path are the color of bone, smooth and curved. As I enter the labyrinth, my Thoughts wheel and tumble about like the wheel, like the birds wheeling above the lake. The bird's swirling dance is punctuated by occasional dives as each in turn seeks fish from the depths below. Finding sustenance or not, they soar up again, bright white, rising on the currents of air. Nearing the center of the labyrinth, I try to let some of my swirling thoughts dive deep like the birds. What kinds of fish might be raised from the depths? impaled on the sharp beak of awareness. I reach the center where someone has placed a milky white crystal. It is meant to help focus, I guess, but the sunlight is only permitted to enter the outer layers of the crystal, while the murk within remains impenetrable. I sit near the center of the grassy circle, hoping for some great truth to emerge from the murk of my musing brain. I turn from the blue October sky and look closely at the earth. Paul Tillich called God the ground of being, and I've always liked the image. I enjoy the sensation of being held fast to the ultimate by something as elemental and irresistible as gravity. As I look closely at the cropped grass and small rocks around me, I become aware of a small gray pebble, almost a perfect sphere. I begin to roll it around with my pencil and muse on the spherical planet on which I sit. I try to meditate on this small model of Earth, but I am distracted by its unlikely shape. It occurs to me that this tiny dove gray sphere is a gift from the universe just for me. I pick it up and begin to roll it around between thumb and fingers, enjoying the roundness, satisfied to be the recipient of such a fine gift. I imagine that centering energy emanates from its core and infuses my body. As I glance back at the ground, though, I see a scattering of these small gray orbs. Before I can ponder the significance, my gift from the universe crumbles under the pressure from my fingers, and I finally have a revelation. Rabbit turds. I've been meditating on rabbit turds. And the laughing call of the diving birds echoes in my ears. I spend a moment reflecting on the rabbit's experience of the labyrinth. There are undoubtedly many paths to the center for them, and I am humbled as I think of my own deliberate walk to this place, that the rabbits see both as dinner table and toilet. And I realize that I must look pretty silly to the rabbits, sitting in the midst of good grazing land, wasting dinner time pondering rocks and playing with turds. And maybe they're right. Sometimes I get caught up in the search for ultimate meaning, yearning my question to the universe, is this all there is? And sometimes I sense a response. What good will it do to look for more until you can understand what's in front of you? Have a good evening, and I will see you tomorrow.